I'm doing the finish wet sanding on this hull. I'm using 3000 grit paper, which maybe you can get on the internet. If you don't have that, just use whatever you have. I just like it nice and fine. And I add a little soap to the spray bottle. But if you're repainting anything, you have to make sure you rinse off all the soap good. So you're not going to be putting any more coats of varnish on this? Oh, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> it Just takes a know. long time because you have to keep drying it with paper towels to see if it's good enough. So you just have to take your time and keep drying it. I probably dry it three or four times before I'm, I think I got it all. You have to dry it to see if you've sanded it completely because when it's wet and looks shiny, you can't see anything at all. You have to dry it. I always get specks of dust down in the cellar, so I wet sand out every speck. And you can't see them when it's wet. You should have a better ceiling. A what? A better ceiling above you, then you wouldn't get so much yeah. dust. What it is, what it is. Now you don't try to wet sand your rub rail or your tow rail, no, right? No. You just leave them with the varnish finish. I, pol I polish them. You polish little, them. I, I probably hit the rub rail with the wet paper. If you if you try to wet sand them though, you no. most likely cut through. Yeah. So just leave them and polish them. You want to keep it nice and wet. What sort of things are you looking for? Brush marks, little tiny pieces of dirt or dust that got into the finish? Probably dust more than brush marks. You gotta keep the, don't get sand, like I just did dirt on your sandpaper, cause that'll scratch. Be careful what you lay it down on. Sometimes it's better to have a little plastic bowl of water and lay, leave it in the water. You will wet sand your keel and your rudder, yeah. though. It's just the little tiny, tiny things like the tow rail and rub rail. What you're looking for is a mirror shine. Well, it doesn't shine with the wet sanding. Well, it will, but you're looking for it to look like it's a glassy surface where you can't see any grain of the wood. It'll look shiny like a mirror after the polishing. Now after the last coat of varnish, how many different um, grits of wet paper did you use to get here? I think I went 800,000, then the 3,000. I used to use 2,500, but I found a 3,000. 
You know, some people don't even bother wet sand it, so it's up to each individual what kind of a finish they want. This way it takes an awful lot of coats of varnish to uh, so you can wet sand it this hard without cutting through to the stain. Yeah, if you cut through to the stain, you'd be in big trouble. Well, the basswood is not stained, but right. you still don't want to cut through. No, even, yeah, you know, you'd be in big trouble if you cut through. How many coats of varnish do you think you put on this total? Oh, probably seven, something like that. to hold the camera in the right way. I don't know how I can edit that. Sorry. If you're painting a model, I do the same thing. I wet sand the paint. So it's absolutely smooth and quite often I cut through and then I have to put on more coats. It's easier to tell if you cut through with a painted finish. But when you dry it, you'd be able to see if you cut through pretty clearly, right, with the varnish? Yep. It's a lot lighter in color if you cut through. What do you do when you're wet sanding with colors? And you're sanding between two colors, like right there at the water line. Is that a oh, problem? Yeah, it can be, especially a white hull with a dark colored boot top, like red. Yeah. Sometimes I tape over it. And wet sand. And wet sand up to it very carefully. Yeah. You're still putting a boot top on this one, right? A boot top and a cove stripe. And a cove. Would it be a gold cove? Well, imitation gold. Imitation gold. But you won't try to wet sand a boot top? No. Because that would just smear it out. That will be brush finish. I'm not doing it now, but sometimes it's a good idea to wear a thin pair of like surgical gloves when you wet sand because your fingernails can scratch it. And you can sand your skin off if you wet sand long enough. said before, some people just shellac them, three or four coats, so it dries fast, 
and that's all they do. And a lot of people do that, so you don't have to do everything that I go through. Sand the rudder at some point the same way. So I use this light. Oh, yeah. I can see him now. Oh yeah. Do you ever open the bulkhead door and take them out into the sunlight to... No, but it's probably a good idea, but I don't do it. That's what I do at the yard when you have me wet sand them. I take them out yes. into the sunlight. The light in the cell is not good for this, but that's what it is. See, as that water evaporates, that's when you can see if you've got it all oh, I don't sanded. I, see it I got more to do on the basswood. Yeah, I was looking at the mahogany there. But you have to wait for the water to evaporate to know for sure. Yeah. 